Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. And I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they've really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for game day. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The insane Colts go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Newtons, I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime new lingerie girls team! On a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all? Ho oh, ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. Picks up five on that play. Second down and five. He picks up a bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. <laughs> First and ten. And he just slipped away on it. Run is good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Third and two. today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and there's an eight-yard catch chipping away with those medium passes i like it like a patient prison break second down and two First and ten. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feet, Grim. He's running from his feet, as it's clear. Yo, man, nobody can touch with our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. And it's 
first and ten. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. That's a four-yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and a lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown!
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got the... Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second and three. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. I know how said, never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And it's first and ten. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. You can't. Oh, Mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. First and two. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? Did you? It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and he punched his way out of that tackle. Intercepted. Second down and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and ten. At this 
point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having an interception, though. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. say about this guy except maybe a eulogy ah uh, well he was a violent alcoholic a terrible father and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs <clears throat> but uh, i mean he was a great ball player uh, you know that's really what counts at the end of the day right two minutes remain in the half wait i gotta take a dump Third down and nine. That's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Third down and a pussy. 
Ramsey here. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a cop. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. <laughs> must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> oh. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth out... And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And that's a nice run for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? <laughs> And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Second down and six. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits. 
tits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Bam! The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. First and ten. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Third down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. A fake punt. If you can't trust a punter, who can you trust? Breaks away. The defense wasn't ready for that at all, Bricks. The off with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight and what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. World, ruin it. did he's coming out in the field now and it's first and ten and a 
another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Boom! Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close though. Yep. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game... You may have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. First down and six. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to intercept it though. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. What a dog's time! And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Hey, First and ten. point attempt. Stupid here. Just pump the damn ball and 
play defense. And he booted a high arching rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Crap! And the defense recovers the ball. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about... Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, along the jungle, you know? Ah, another interception. Jeez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. He's rumbling. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Here comes the defense. Oh, oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. First and ten. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you butts. Second down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my... The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I think the funeral expenses, that is. First and ten. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. First and two. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. He could go all the way! And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to 
run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And a hard run there. Picks. Oh, you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First and ten. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down and more than the QB would like. This guy's a brick and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Yeah, man, I was keeping on the now. You know what Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Ray Fram with a ball and didn't fall down. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, nice hit. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom! And like
back to Titanic. His ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 30. Look, they're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a suck. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the... Uh... Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. In the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down in a very lot. for a first down to keep the drive alive with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The defense calls a second time out. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. from the line of scrimmage from here on out. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Complete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> is down 
to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers, they're really getting the snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Now, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, holy smokes! He the maniacs deliver a bloody win for the Motor City. It was total and complete and utter domination. And speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Uh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. <laughs> Rim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.